Welcome back to part three of Sausage Boys, uh, breaking down conspiracy the theories. world's silliest conspiracy theories. So he's a bear. Yeah, we're talking about Sasquatch. Kroom thinks it's a bear. It's a bear. Anyway, anyway, we're going anyway. on. We're going on to the next one. I know we know this man. I know. Don't even. I can't imagine what the conspiracy theory is with this man. I don't know either. So this man is Elvis yeah. Presley, and yes. um, I have a feeling it's going to be similar to the. Uh, What's the name? Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne, one. okay. But, um, First thing that comes to mind for me is like he's actually Native American or he's actually black. <laughs> They're great ones. Um, but I'm curious. I'm curious. I don't know where this is going to go. So the Elvis conspiracy theory revolves around the idea that Elvis Presley, the iconic American singer and actor, did not die in 1977, oh. but faked his death to escape the pressure of fame. Ooh. According to this theory, Elvis went into hiding and assumed a new identity to live quiet, a quiet life away from the public eye. Proponents of this theory cite alleged sightings of Elvis, discrepancies in official reports and supposed hidden messages in his songs as <laughs> evidence of his continuous existence. They claim Elvis's death was staged and that the government and influential figures were involved in orchestrating the elaborate hoax. Hey. I'm going to say what makes sense to me about this claim is that he was the most famous person in the world. Yes. He's married to this 15-year-old. He just wants to get fat and live his life. Yes. With his 15-year-old bride. 100%. And, and he's I, like, I, I'm going to go to Cuba or something with the Tupac. I'm going to go to the Holloway. <laughs> um, he, yeah, he ends his life and he actually comes back as Tupac. <laughs> yeah, he just, he goes to Cuba, right? Yeah. Tans. Crazy amount. Gets a nose ring. Yeah, shaves his head. Gets ripped. Yeah. <laughs> Gets jacked. Has a weird relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Becomes extremely militant. Makes and- Will Smith uh, <laughs> self-conscious. <laughs> Has a beef with uh, Brooklyn rapper Biggie Smalls and, yeah, starts a new career as a rapper, as an African-American hip-hop artist. But speaking specifically to the theory... Yep, that he actually faked his death. Well, I don't think the government has anything to do with it. If anything, I would understand maybe he orchestrated... People have faked their death before. Uh, With less less reason than someone who is the biggest star in the world. And he's got the money to do it. Yes. And he's got a prerogative. The only thing with Elvis, he looked so sickly at the time of his death. Did he? Yeah, he was barely alive. And he was like passing out all the time. He got run into the ground. Just a real classic case of dude who just got pushed to death by the music industry. Mm. And I don't think the people who were around him would have dared let him go be a human. There's still money to make. Who says they have a say in it? Because we're talking about people had sightings and whatever. Yeah. He they saw some Italian dude with his slick back hair and be like, I'm pretty sure that's Elvis. He's like, no, that's... that's Sasquatch. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so where are you going with this one? I'm going... There's no way on earth the most popular, like the most like... I guess he was almost like a, like a slave. It's the classic slave of the music industry is going to be set free. It's just, it's not happening. You're right, His yeah. His team. There's no way they're going to be like, you know what, Elvis, you've made us enough money, let's go. I you th- go enjoy your life now. Yeah. That's just not happening. I think he might have the prerogative, he might have the money to do it, but I agree, yeah, it's not happening. Mm. I'm, I'm looking at either pure silly or C for this one. Yeah, and he had no money. Like, after watching the Elvis documentary, his manager literally had full control of him. That's where you're he, getting your info. Yeah, that's where I'm getting all my info oh. from. Like, he was this guy, he was his circus act. Yep. He was like a, a bear doing a dance at like a Russian circus. He had yeah. no idea what was going on. This mm. dude took everything from him, had full control of his life, and Elvis was just worked to death. Well, yeah, I so think there's no way, there's just there's no way possible that anything could have happened. This is a silly idea. We're going pure silly? Yeah, we've got to go pure silly. Dang, that's our for first pure that's silly. Pure, that's, it might be our second. There's Bigfoot, there's nothing there. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we got we got an interesting one coming up. I see a pattern. I don't know what this is. This is um, actually a very popular one as well. Yes. Very, very popular. This is crop circle territory. Oh, I haven't heard about this. You haven't heard about crop circles? I haven't heard about crop circles. No. All right. Let's, so hear, let's hear a breakdown. Crops, let's hear a breakdown. Crop circle conspiracy theory posits... Is that the word? Posits. Says the intricate patterns and formations found in fields primarily consisting of flattened crops are not created by natural or unknown phenomena, but rather by deliberate human or extraterrestrial t- activity. Proponents argue that these crop circles display complex drama- uh, ge- geometrical designs beyond the capability of humans and are f- 
and are a form of communication from advanced beings or civilizations. They claim that government and scientific institutions suppress evidence of extraterrestrial involvement and dismiss crop circles as mere hoaxes or natural occurrences. Have you never seen pictures of crop circles? No. They're a real thing. Okay, I need to go in. I, I thought they were just man-made, like people on farms do crop circles. They're like massive and yep. intricate. Right. Like you can get photos with drones and stuff and yeah. they've been happening for a while. Right. Unless they're like a really intricate... I can't imagine anyone going to that much effort for something that will get passed around as folklore. Because we're talking about like 70s. I, in, in all honesty, and, and why I know would nothing they, about this. Why would they be yeah, wrecking yeah, their own is, crops as well? What do you mean wrecking their own crops? Oh, so these circles naturally form when you plant or something like that? What's the... So the... the yeah, so people say that it could happen naturally. Yeah, yeah. That's maybe is that or or that they're hoaxes, like people have made them. So we're talking about these were around in a time where people could take photos but yeah. didn't have um the ability to edit those photos. Yes, yeah, of course. And then yeah, they've just been around. So I guess the argument is that it's an extraterrestrial thing. The the idea with me, like again, I can't I'm not the biggest um I'm not big into like agriculture or like farming or anything like that. Um when I go into the into like the the country or anything and i see sort of like crop circles i assume that's just set up by farmers and they like they plant be- seeds and it just kind of creates these patterns naturally with the formation of the of the whatever produce is Far- being made farmers mo they live the hardest lives they work harder than anyone they don't have time for silly business and they also don't have time for ruining their own crops for a hoax is it ruining their own crops or is that just how they grow? They don't grow in patterns that are like as big as a football field. But would it just it happen naturally? Like I guess when you look at how farms are set up, it's like very like mathematical. It's like I'm going to use this tractor to go up and then I'm going to plant the seeds going down, up, down, and then just whichever way they grow is whichever way they grow. My issue with it is this has happened a thousand times unless there's like a farmer's union oh but this is isn't it just the way to farm no is this how all farmers just no you don't need complex geometrical um symmetrical patterns in the middle of your field to make sure your 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 corn grows well or would the corn just do that naturally to almost like distance itself from other produce or to make sure it can kind of get enough water all that sort of stuff so this i don't know any example this is like the example yeah yeah i i want to look into this yeah i've never heard about this and i'm very ignorant on the topic i'm looking at the top of the list i'm going either based or a yeah i'm I'm happy to go a because i'm happy to give it an a i don't know anything about this i want to look into it further afterwards tell us about this if anyone has any info because literally i can't really understand this i don't know too much about farming i've yeah i've never heard about this before this part might be a little bit longer let's squeeze one more in huh let's squeeze one more yeah yeah um so this one is an evolution conspiracy nice uh i could imagine what this might be yeah. But uh, let's have a geese. So the evolution conspiracy theory challenges a widely accepted scientific theory of evolution, proposing that it is a deliberate uh, deception propagated by the scientific community and mainstream institutions. Proponents of this theory argue that the evolution is a face, uh, f- false narrative created to undermine religious beliefs and promote atheism. Nice. They claim that the evidence supporting evolution, such as fossils and genetic studies, is either fraudulent or misrepresented. Instead, they produce alternative explanations such as intelligent design or a young earth creationist perspective in which the divine entity is responsible for the complex complexity of life on earth. However, the overwhelming consensus among scientists, yada, yada, yada. This is based. This is extremely based. It's classic. This is a classic conspiracy theory that I can't even really prove wrong. I don't think there's a really a take you can have for that the questioning the evolution theory. This is saying... I think it goes back too far to the point we won't be able to get, like, enough evidence. No, this is pro-religious. So this is saying that there was an evolution. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. You agree? Yeah. 100%. You don't believe in evolution? I think there's a great case and there's a great angle to really look deeply into it. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'm going to step out of... Yeah, yeah. It is a good theory. Because you don't know. You actually don't know how people got here. Um, again, this is... 
Yeah, well, this is a tricky probably one. terrible. I'm very it's, very... it's testing faith and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm very ignorant with, with a lot of this stuff as well. I don't really understand the science too much, and I don't understand the case too much for, like, what, how this could be based, how this could go against the science. But from what I've heard, when it comes to that whole, like, evolution theory, um, the idea of questioning it, I think they've got some good points. I want to go pure silly... Oh, but I want to hear. I want to hear you out. Yeah, I want to go just like straight up based because I don't know how to prove it wrong. We got Sasquatch two point Yeah, we might have Sasquatch two point Um, well, we might just have uh, to put it on B and move on, right? <sighs> Let's give it on a B. Let's give it on a B. We might have to give it okay. on a B. We'll and, throw it on a B. I and, think this is a classic one. I don't know too much about it. I feel that I can't. I don't know enough to even like poke holes into it because again, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how I'm far probably, back this goes. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe B is a good spot. Might be a good spot. Like, I literally don't know. There could be, like, enough science out there to be like, dude, look at this. Evolution's just happened. Yeah, there is. Apparently there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We might yeah. have to wrap anyway. up part three right there. But, um, yeah, we'll put out part four very soon, soon. of Sausage Boys' Silliest Conspiracies. <laughs>